The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sink. sink. Hello, everyone. I'm LJ. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. And this is TTV Talks. Da, 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 da. Okay. No, I said TTV Talks, not Recap Reviews. <laughs> oh. See, how hard is that? That is not hard at all. Okay, no, let me let me redo it. Why are you doing this? No, 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 no. This is not the musical segment. This is where we talk about stuff. I don't know, man. I oh, know, we don't really have much to talk about, do we? We have everything. Viper, use your imagination. We have the world to discuss. We could talk about plants. We could talk about food. We could talk about drinking water and how it affects our health. No, do not talk about my imagination. It's the most insane place you'll ever go to. Oh, I'm sure you're just damaged, aren't you? No, not like Jared Jared Leto. Damaged! (laughs) (laughs) Seriously, it's been so long since I hosted a TTV Talks episode. Uh, Did you ever? (laughs) And now it's yeah, going to be the once. most boring episode. Excuse me! If it's going to be boring, it's going to be because of you! Do you know what this reminds me of? Ooh, Ath the Week. Ooh, I feel Ath the, the pressure. Week. Ath the Week! This reminds me of Ath the Week so much. Anyway. Except Ath the Week <laughs> was a lot cooler. Yeah, it had more like... me. No. <laughs> wow, because that doesn't scream egotism, LJ. No, egotism? it doesn't. It screams quality. Hey, I'm using my imagination. Oh, it's to not just my brilliant. Words. Uh, well, how have you guys been this week? Been good. Yep. Doing nothing. Yep. College good. is over. Hasn't been relax. Hasn't been exactly the most productive week. I mean, I've been watching Shark Week. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh That's about it. <laughs> I've never been invested in Shark Week like ever. Like sharks? Sure. Shark Week? Nah. Dad, what are you doing? Shark Week? <laughs> that's the only, uh, that's the only w- no way I know a yeah, reason I mean, why I know. It's of not shark like I'm, week. it's not like I'm crazy about sharks. No, that's my, that's a friend of mine actually. I'm only watching really? it just because there's like nothing else to watch now. Really? I know. I, I turn on TV and I'm like Jeremy Kyle. Uh, no, that's I actually some find random this... drama. Yeah, I find boring. Shark Week a lot more interesting than the majority of stuff on TV nowadays. I, I I don't know when the last time I watched TV was. It's been so long. I just do things on the computer. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It, computers have like the step up to television for a lot of people just because it's like it's on demand and you can it's basically a portable television if you've got a laptop. I think if you've yeah. got a desktop then well, it's a desktop, you can't really take it too many places but yeah are you kidding me i can take it wherever i want well uh, from experience of taking an xbox from one house to another i can say i do not want to take a desktop anywhere I, wow, what i've done that what taking nah, a desktop yeah i've moved like as if it was a console a very heavy console because i have a big tower but uh yeah i moved that thing around yeah well, Sometimes, you know, rarely. Now that I think about it, I I don't even have any TV shows that I really follow. Not anymore. Well, actually, I uh, have Game of Thrones, but that's it. Well, yeah, but you watch it online, don't you? Yeah, I, I watch it on SkyGo. I haven't like, uh, I haven't freaking watched TV regularly since I was a lot younger. Like, I'm I'm just like you, LJ. I'm mostly on the computer nowadays. I hardly ever turn on. Um, cable TV, and yet I have a cable box sitting in my room, you know, every day just yeah. waiting for some attention. It's like, no, dude, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't waste my time with that. It's not even that yeah. for me. It's because my f- family have, like, 
24-7 tyranny over the, the television that actually has Sky on it, which is like... It's it's a better version of Freeview. You get all these different channels. You get like a thousand new channels, and none of them have anything interesting on. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean that that's one thing. You get all these channels. All these cable companies are saying, "All right, get this amount of ki- uh, channels for this price." How many of them are you going to use? It's like we got uh, the the gambling, and we got uh, the uh, oh, the red MTV. Oh, those shows. Only there is just some sort of way where you can pay for only the channels that you were actually interested in. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Here are these useless cool. channels. Give me your $80, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's I remember one TV back show then. that I follow. Oh, what was that? It. Oh, it's Castle. Oh, yeah, I used to follow that religiously. You always talked about that. Well, it's, it's off-season right now, so... Mm. I just remember yeah. watching Breaking Bad, and that's it. That's not even on TV either. It's usually hmm. when it comes to TV, I used to watch like the old kids' channels, like Drake and Josh, and oh, Fresh yeah, me too. Prince Bel Air, and SpongeBob, and things like that. Yeah, Breaking Never Bad. Never seen any of those. Wow, you missed you, wow. Um, a lot. You, pro- you probably <laughs> would have liked TV at some point. Anyway, I, yeah, Breaking Bad was actually the last TV series that I finished watching. And I didn't even watch it on TV. I just downloaded all the episodes illegally. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Ven. Ven. Yep. Whoa. Ben to the bone. does not condone Venom's <laughs> opinions <laughs> and beliefs and views. <laughs> ben and to the bone. Well, I watched Breaking Bad on Netflix, which I miss <gasps> dearly. Oh. Okay. All right. Netflix. That, that Netflix is really cool. Netflix is a good thing. Uh, I enjoy Netflix. I wish I was still subscribed to it, but at the same time, it's like, why do that? When I can just get all these TV shows for free by okay. downloading them. <laughs> Audience, crime doesn't pay. Doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's because it's but for But neither free. do you as long oh as you... Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, Viper gets Come it. Come on! Whatever happened to be a, a nice citizen? I you am know, a like nice a citizen. citizen. It's just people hey, pay too much. When you have all the time in the world in your hands over, like, su- summer break, you learn a lot of interesting things about what you can get for free. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, would you download a car, Ven? I would if I could. He would if you could 3D print it. Yeah, if I could 3D <laughs> print a car for free, heck yeah, I'll do it. You gotta wow. 3D print that Lamborghini. Oh, <laughs> I, oh, oh my gosh, I almost swore right there. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Whoa. laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait. So it's like, I earned this with actual money. I just brought a 3D printer. <laughs> speaking, speaking of <laughs> summer... I got the money for the 3D printer. You don't want to know. <laughs> well, spe- speaking of summer, I know LJ's life is like a constant summer break since he doesn't go to school or do anything useful with his life. What about Irrigation. you? Vi- no, get out. What about you, no. Viper? How was your so- summer break, Ben? Well, the summer has only just begun, but I've only just stopped working ridiculously. Like, I'd come home from uh, college, and the thing is, I have to get a bus, and the bus is like an hour journey, so I get off from the bus, and I'm tired, I'm like, I just want to go to bed, but I'm like, no, I have to work, ignore dinner until I'm about to go to bed, and continue working till 11 to submit the assignment on time, then have a bath and eat my dinner, then go to bed to wake up the next day and repeat the same cycle all over again. Okay, so basically not any more productive than my summer. All right, cool. <laughs> Excuse I think I have the most productive summer here. Dude. With, with the irrigation. No, you don't. irrigation yeah, I, do. I do the irrigation. Only. I'm moving. I do a, I, I work on the channel. I work on the channel, too. And I'm working on a yeah, new same. shirt. Speaking of which, buy the TTV shirts today oh, if you... Wow. Oh, this isn't the place to the plug, plug that in. Yeah. Uh, hey, good, if you keep job. doing that, people will illegally get our shirts. They illegally <laughs> download our shirts. With no, don't do printers. that. Come on. Support <laughs> us. Give us money. Please. Wow. Oh, my goodness. There's like a, um, there's like a black market for TTV shirts. <laughs> hey, you want to choose wisely? Hey, hey kid. You want to buy these shirts? Hey, you want to feel the power? Choose Stick wisely. Out, man. <laughs> wow. All right, then. Yeah, no, I mean, this summer, I am not a fan of summer. I don't like summer at all. Not the weather, 
Not the environment, not the atmosphere. Nothing about summer makes me happy. Dude, I love mm. the summer. What's wrong with oh you? My yes gosh. and no. I, I like the summer because it's warm and the days are longer, so it's less miserable all the time. But at the same time, it's the worst thing about summer is the night time in summer because it's hot and you just want to sleep but you can't because oh, okay. it's hot then there's like mosquitoes trying to attack you and bombard mosquitoes. you if you like try and sleep outside the covers wow so you like well, have for... to like barricade yourself but you're dying inside because you're in some slow cooker of a duvet okay, okay yeah I'll agree I hate feeling hot at night yeah like, that mm-hmm. just fe- it feels disgusting yeah, you can like yeah. feel like, like you feel the sweat just like soaking. Yeah, you just feel into- all musky, and you're like, oh, oh, well, the sun's not out, so there's no excuse for me to be sweating right now unless I'm like super fat. Oh no, I'm getting fat. See, that's the worst hey, part hey, about hey, it. You, hey, hey, hey. Then you start body overthinking. You're venom. like, oh man, I'm so that's fat. Not body I'm sweating. That's just fact. At night, and people, people who are bigger sweat more. Wall viper. How do you know that, huh? Because, like, I've never seen a skinny person other than Lee Evans sweat crazily. Okay, first of all, who the beans is Lee Evans? He's a comedian, and he sweats like crazy. Even though he's, like, tiny, all, I he's didn't about need the same to know size that. as me. I actually met him Third in of... real life. I met Steve Jobs once. You, was his turtle necks as amazing as they say? I don't remember. <laughs> it was, like, years ago. I was the Red Ranger. I'm not emphasizing or... or uh, exaggerating or anything. He's a Red Ranger. He allegedly gave me candy. There's a picture of that somewhere. I don't even know where it is. I've never even seen it. I didn't even know I met Steve Jobs until like about a year or so ago. Oh yeah, isn't that like a movie coming out of Steve Jobs? I'm sure I'm With, in uh, it. Michael Fassbender. I'm pretty sure I'm in it. Michael Fassbender. I know there was the movie with Ashton Kutcher, but... I'm... Oh, that's supposed to be awful apparently, but I've never watched it myself, so... I yeah. I haven't no heard anything about it, surprisingly. Yeah. yeah, I heard it wasn't very good, but I also hear that, yeah, they're coming out with a new one. Yeah, That's the new one looks very interesting. It looks very intense, kind of like that, what's it called, the social network kind of intense, where it's like nothing action-y is happening. That's <laughs> right, action-y. I used action-y, the word. Um, Thank you. <laughs> wait, wait, wasn't there like a, uh, like a Stephen Hawking movie? Oh, that uh, came the out theory last year. of everything. Yeah, that came out last year, huh? I, felt wow. like it Th- I think it did. It, it was either last by. year or early this year. It was early this year, I think. It had to okay. have been, because I remember seeing that somewhat recently. I don't I don't know. Well, well not seeing what? the movie, but seeing like a preview for it. I th- <laughs> Didn't they make it like a uh like a like a romance story or something? Yeah, it was, it's about Stephen Hawking and like him dealing with motor thingy i can't remember what it's called that's really bad but basically Wait. his motor neuron deteriorates and he slowly Viper. starts to die so it's why he's in a wheelchair now and has voice activated stuff and people make fun of him because of it right thank you yeah you're welcome that's, lj that sentence deteriorated it, it really rapidly. did yeah that's what happens when you don't know much like me i know Good nothing job. Good job. Thank you, British school system. You know nothing, Viper Snow. <laughs> anyway, uh, no one in our audience is going to understand that. Uh, <laughs> nobody here, like me, understands that. See, me and Viper do, though, so that's all nothing. that matters. Yeah, exactly. Well, well yeah, no, I, I, I said me. I don't understand it. You know, you know nothing, quick, LJ Back to summer. <laughs> back to summer. I don't like summer at all. The, everything is so fast-paced. We're constantly doing some sort of work or something. Uh, like I said, the irrigation, which is uh, it's horrible. Complete opposite then, of my summer. <laughs> you say yours is fast paced, mine is slow paced. Uh, okay. I've I don't think I've ever had a slow summer. I kind of sound like a. You say Grinch. yours is hot, mine's been really cold. I kind of well, sound like you... a. Um, I'm sorry. I was Go just ahead. gonna Go say ahead. I kind of sound like a Grinch saying this, but I I hate summer clothes like that's just like it's so much hatred that it actually kind of is one of my bad things about summer because it gives people an excuse to like dress half naked and i just really don't like that because i'm a whoa. prude what what summer clothes do you have over there 
But there's just like loads of people like decide to wear like shorts up to their butts and things like that, and like, oh. half their cheeks are hanging out. And I'm just wait. Like, are we talking about males or females? Females. All mostly. right, I'm moving. <laughs> It just makes me mad because I'm a complete prude, I think. I'm just like, I like winter clothes where I'm like, there's nothing shirt, no skin showing at all. I just like wearing my. I, was, uh, I like wearing turtlenecks and that's why I'm. Oh, uh, yeah! Turtlenecks. turtlenecks all the way! You wear turtlenecks during the summer? No, in the winter. Oh, well, what do you wear <laughs> during you the summer? Me? Because it would be boiling, I'll die. What do, what do you wear during the summer? Is it like, like. Is it. Is it like, oh, it's either full clothes or nothing? Oh, no. I wear, like, a t-shirt and some, like, three-quarter lengths. Trousers. Trousers. I, I kind of look like a 13-year-old when I dress like that, though. You're so British. But you don't you don't wear, like, uh, sparkly pants or, like, pants with, like, glitter on it or anything, do you? Ew, no. Like, because so, I've seen I've seen girls at my college wear a bedazzled jeans, and I'm just like, oh my gosh! <laughs> Welcome back to middle school. <laughs> oh, SmackDown applied ball to tap burn. Wow! Wow, that was incredibly dorky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the, uh, uh, freaking boy. no, I, I agree with Viper. I don't like summer clothing. I don't really like. What's wrong with you people? Summer. I, even I mean, the winter you. is so great. It's so nice. You can. It's easier to warm up than it is to cool down. See, there no, is only that is so true. Far, there's only so far, unless you're in a colony, that you can take clothes off. Why would you want to keep to to keep cool? I mean, you could just keep piling layers on in the winter. It doesn't matter. See, I hate piling layers of clothes on me, though. I feel so restricted, and whenever. <laughs> You like and turn into a Baymax. You got so many layers. Especially, on Especially, <laughs> especially where I live, where it's constantly cold. That you never know exactly how cold it is unless you actually went outside. By that point, you're already uh, like dressed up, and say you have plans, right? And you're like, oh, it looks pretty decent outside. I, I think I know what to wear. You go out, and then it's like it's okay for like the first couple of minutes, but then then the cold starts to increase on you, and you're like, oh, what the heck? I didn't prepare for this. <laughs> or if you over bundle, you over bundle and you go to you a friend's really house, hot. you think it's like super cold and everything. You're like, oh, okay, I'm going to grab my jacket and, and grab a whole bunch of thermals to wear under it. You go out, yeah, and then you get super hot. And then you're Dying. like, oh, what do I do? I guess I got to take off my clothes. And then you got to carry your clothes around like some sort oh, of yeah. idiot. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen I've, that. That's happened before. I don't get. I you see. I'm good at looking out a window and saying, "Hmm, I think it's going to be that temperature. This is what I need for it." Because naturally, I have a very high body temperature. I'm You're I'm very, very well adapted to cold climates, which is why I like them so much. Huh, so I can I'm go not. outside in like 35 degrees Fahrenheit with one long sleeve shirt, long pants, and one thin coat, and I will be fine. So you know what? But good for you. Screw you. Here I am, <laughs> like I can't, I can't handle the cold. I'm like sensitive to the cold. I'm like a lizard. I need, I need the yeah, warmth. Most Californians yeah. are. What? What? No, I'm, what I'm serious. Say? I'm not. I'm not even trying to take a jab at Californians. Sven, like people in warmer climates are used to warm climates. Oh yeah, definitely. So I'm not. Cold. Cold. I'm not in a warm climate. <laughs> If you came it's over cold to England, I think most day. of you would be freezing. <laughs> it is fu- it is like I'm living in England. It's cold every day. It's always foggy. It's like living in Silent Hill over here. That's how bad uh, it I'll is. I'll trade you. Oh, <laughs> heck yeah, I'll trade you. <laughs> well, I, I mean, well, like, actually, no, like no, weather. never mind. I don't want your crappy internet. No, 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 no. no, no. I didn't say I me. wanted to switch places. I just said I want your weather. Nobody oh, yeah, wants to come to England for the weather. Is. Yeah, suckers. But no, it's like every time I, I if I'm going on like a walk at night with some people, and they they are always the ones that say you should bring a jacket or a coat. And I'm like, but I'm gonna get super hot. I warm up very easily. They're like, no, you need a coat. So I bring the coat. I'm like, okay, fine. I'm doing this for you. I go outside. <laughs> I do this for you. <laughs> I, I go made outside. this for you. <laughs> Thank you. What happens? I get overheated. I have to take off the coat. Instead of carrying it, normally I just like sling it over my shoulders, like I'm some sort of like 
18th century pirate captain. <laughs> I can see that, actually. Uh, when I was, like, 13 to 9 years old, I just would not get cold. There, there was one day there, it's, like, snowing. We had, like, four inches thick snow, which is a lot for us. Uh, and I just went out in a tank top and 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 obviously trousers and shoes. But I went so, out with no jumper and no coat. I, I love the jumper. snow. I I, yeah. I love the snow. I say if it's gonna be cold over here, it better snow. I, yeah. I, yeah. For some reason, that is like the only time I will tolerate the cold. But I hate it over here because it it gets so cold, never snows. It gets unbelievably yeah. brisk. <laughs> It never snows. It just gets foggy and it looks ugly. But that's, I guess that's what Lake Tahoe's for, driving like freaking almost four to six hours away. I'll tell you what's mm-hmm. pretty ugly weather. Not even that. Cloudy and rain and Cla- wind. Ooh. No, that's what, that's actually what I have today. Cloudy rain it, it's with awful. a little bit of wind. Yeah. In fact, no, not I even that. It. It's, it's like, it's rain with no wind and it's cloudy and you get that awful damp smell. Actually, oh, I love that smell. That smell is disgusting. It's beautiful. It gives me a headache. It gives me like, it's like the You know what, Viper? I think, I think you're starting to trigger like a memory right now that I think I remember reading up that apparently the area that I live in has pretty much the same weather as uh, as England. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the same, you. The same weather dynamics. <laughs> I am so England. sorry for you. Something like Meanwhile. Yeah, yeah oh. <laughs> not... Because everything you're talking about right now, we have that here. <laughs> yeah, it it's pretty crap. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you'd, th- you'd think, oh, yeah, I'll go to America to escape this awful weather. No, it follows you. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you Meanwhile, know what? Whatever. Over here, we'll have four seasons in a day. Honestly, it's this. <laughs> not, 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 <laughs> not even twenty-four hours. No, maybe about one and a half hours. It's this kind of weather <laughs> that's like kept me inside for a good chunk of this summer already. Like my summer's almost halfway over, and Aww. I haven't even gone out that mu- as much as I had like last year. You're, like as much as I anticipated. I've been two weeks into my summer. I've only gone out once. Yeah, I've gone out every single day. I've mostly gone Irrigation. out just to go to a friend's house, which, of course, I don't mind. You know, I, I like hanging out and everything. But it'd be nice if I got to go to more beach trips or something. There's only I don't like the beach. <laughs> I I sort of like the beach. The only thing I don't like about the beach is the sand. <laughs> the sand so the beach. drives me crazy. Yeah, sand is I mean, awful. It gets everywhere. Like I remember, I uh, like six weeks down the line, I wore the same socks and I take them off, and sand comes out. I'm like, how is that even possible? I <laughs> yeah. I I've washed these like three or four times and they're still got sand in them. I hate uh, sand. Yeah, I hate that too. Yeah. No, I, I just don't like the beach pretty much at all. No aspect of it is enjoyable to me. Well, I think really. it's really relaxing. I do like the beach, especially with people that you can have fun with. If it's like yeah. I remember going on a trip in secondary school and it was so lame. It was literally like it was cloudy and windy and I was with people that were just not interesting in any way, shape or form. You should so try just... boogie boarding sometime. I do. No oh do you? But the thing is, is that I'm not close to the beach, so it's like an hour's drive to like go there. But you've done it before. Yeah. Oh, sweet. I almost drowned. Like you almost drowned. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right. right. So it, it sounds like, like you loved it. There was like this huge wave. It was literally like it was a freak wave because it even knocked over my father, who's like six foot three. But, I mean, we were like in the water, and I was like boogie boarding, and I didn't get over in time, so the wave like crashed on me. And uh, the thing is with that beach is that it had very sharp kind of objects and a very strong tide at the, at the shoreline, so it kept dragging me Fun. across these like stones. And then, like, pulling me back into the water and then throwing me back over again. And by the time I, like, got out, my dad had to get me out because I couldn't get out. The stripe, the, the tide was that strong. So when I got out, I was, like, f- covered in cuts. 
because of this Ouch. like it was like a cheese grater. It was just like <laughs> like over I, and over. I bet over that's again. even worse because of the sand, uh, the salt water. Yeah, and also you're panicking as well because you're underwater and you can't breathe and you completely yeah. panic. You're like, no, I don't <laughs> want to die. <laughs> No. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's why I stay away from. I stay away from large bodies of water, primarily because oh, I don't know how to swim. But I also just don't like water generally. Yeah. Like I keep forgetting it, yes. that you've had like yeah. a stupid swimming experience. Okay, come on. <laughs> no, dude, you're sense. so stupid. <laughs> dude, okay, l- let me explain. So a while ago, like many many years ago, when I was about six or seven or or eight, in between those three years. We knew a family, and we went over to their house, and they had a pool in their backyard. So we were all in the pool, we were frolicking in the pool on the, the shallow side. And at this point, and I still don't, I don't know how to swim. So we're in the pool, and it's kind of nearing the end of our stay there. But then I look over, and I see, huh, there's something in the water, and it's moving. <laughs> well, it's one of those robotic pool cleaning devices. So it's, you know, it's swimming around, cleaning the bottom of the pool... But there's this long tube, you know, controlling it, that's kind of on the water. And I'm like, in my head, and I remember this very clearly, I go, I want to be friends with that. So I, I, I wade my way over, <laughs> oh clinging to the wall of the pool. This is I like to the, the strangest the story. I, <laughs> I go over, and I, I kind of grab a hold of this, this uh, like, tube thing, and I kind of... F- gently float along with it. I'm like, hey friend, how's it going, buddy Opalo? Well, then it decides, I'm gonna go clean the deep side of the pool. But I don't want to let it go. I want to be friends with it. So, I I let go of the wall of the pool, and I kind of start floating along with it to the deep end, but I'm not very buoyant. So instead of saying, hey, this is pretty fun, buddy, isn't it? I go, I shouldn't laugh, but it's too good to be true. It's such oh, God. a silly story. So, <laughs> right before I go under, I say, help! And now I'm, like, thrashing around. I, I don't know how to swim. I end up getting fished out, obviously. No, they just yeah, left you there. <laughs> I've the never pool been in a pool cleaner since. saved you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I've never been in a pool since, or any large body of water. No, like, I, I didn't learn how to swim until I was, like, 11 years old, so I completely understand that fear of water, because once you go in there, you you cannot it's, swim. It's not, it's not really a fear, either. Like, I don't, I'm not afraid of water. I just generally do not like it. I don't like getting wet. Oh. I mean, I will get wet. I don't mind if I have to. It's not gonna kill me. You That's must why I really do not like showers. <laughs> I mean, or baths. I mean, it's water. You're okay? disgusting. I'm not a fan of water. <laughs> I like drinking water. Like I have a bottle of water right here. I'm like, oh, mm, mm. Ah, delicious. Is it still but, good? Yeah. Mm, it's still good. It's should go. It's should go. So you purposefully avoid spirit. the bathtub because you think that every time you go in there, it's just like one of those little drops of water is going to like see through your eye and then cut off your <clears throat> your heart or something. <laughs> and, uh, I haven't been in a bathtub, but that that's not because I, I hate bathtubs. It's just I haven't. No need. Man, that baths are very therapeutic not lived. to me. <laughs> uh... I, I don't like showers. They just, it's like, if you want to get up in the morning, it's a shower. If you want to go to bed, you have a bath for me. For me, it's, you want to get up in the morning? That sucks. You want to go to sleep? Beans. <laughs> eat beans? Beans. Beans No, no, not like eat sleep? beans. I, I, I what are you, LJ beans. and the beanstalk? <laughs> just have yeah. bean, bean, bean flavored Just making candles. your way to the giant mesonac in the sky? Bean scented candles. Okay, we're done here. Bean scent. <laughs> Ew, that's disgusting. I know. <laughs> that's the only I mean, time hey, LJ some- will take a shower. You gotta get him bean scented candles. Yeah, you gotta get me some Bush's baked beans. Put them Ugh. in like a bowl. Put a wick in it and start. Like, just light it. I can take like two spoonfuls of beans before I hate them. I'm like, Are you mm, this is I really love nice. Beans. And I'm like. It changes so quickly. I'm just like, I don't like beans now. I like beans. I mean, have you ever had Bush's baked beans? No, I've only had Heinz. 
I understand now. I understand. But no, I love Heinz beans. Heinz beans. Heinz beans. <laughs> Isn't Heinz the ketchup company? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's Heinz beans, Heinz ketchup, Heinz... I, I didn't know Heinz had anything more than just ketchup. Yeah, me yeah, neither. they do have more products. They have like Heinz tomato soup, man, tomato. Tomato. Oh no, no, it's good for the soul. Tomato soup. <laughs> Here we go. Don't you start? Uh, how do you say? How do you? How do you say p- potato? Potato. <laughs> you don't. You don't say potato. No. <laughs> So you say tomato. Why is this? Why is this so? Why does this stun every American that I come across? Like they're like because we say it. Why do you to- say it? Say tomato or potato, not tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, what the yuck's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, what the yuck! <laughs> it's because look at it this way, Viper. We use tomato, tomato as a figure of speech. We don't actually say tomato. Okay. Well, <laughs> do you say potato? Uh, no. <laughs> how about like, potato? That's literally how we say it. There's no jokes oh here. Gosh. But, but oh, you wow. say tom- okay. I'm done. Yeah. yeah all right. I'm well, done as well. <laughs> I think we're all done. So that about wraps it up. I think we had a pretty good discussion today. Maybe not the most humorous episode of TTV Talks, but I liked it. Yeah, I liked nice. it as well. Very mixed discussion yeah. too. It's not just the same. Kind of thing over and over again. I don't oh like so, either one of you. Yeah, thanks, Ben. We like you anyway, too, Ben. Wanna... Go ahead, Viper. That's all I said. Um, I like you too, Ben. Okay. Good. That's not how it works. See, you don't like anything <laughs> that doesn't like you. That that just gives you that just gives the thing more reason to not like you because it's like, why does this thing like me? Why? Why doesn't so it dislike anyway, me as much as I dislike it? Things should be mutual. I mean, it's just not gonna work. Boards, we go we can't TTV do this anymore, Viper. We need to. TTV we need to break things off. Com. We need to break it off right now, Viper. If you want to support us, you also need, you go need ahead to dislike and check out the me. new T-shirt designs we have. Check out Makuta Fest on Saturday, July eleventh at X amount of times. No one cares up, about Makuta feet. We also have Audible at audibletrial.tv. I forget what it is. dot com. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, yeah. Thank you all very much for listening. I'm LJ. I'm Venom. I'm Viper. And this has been TTV Talks, probably about weather. See you all next time. See y'all.